Hey everyone, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop, and I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of what's in the shop this weekend. Um, I'm going to turn to my left and show you something kind of cool. Uh, we just received two Babo City, these are the two-wheeled, Bachfeets, and uh, these are going for a little bit less than 2500 bucks, I believe. I haven't gotten the pricing 100%, but um, I was hoping to have these bikes built this weekend. It looks like the stack of repairs is pretty deep right now, so... Maybe next week I'll have a, an image to show everybody of what those look like. Um, but what has arrived this week are, pardon the mess, there's a big wooden box, one of those Brooks display boxes we just dug out of the back. We just received a ton of nutcase helmets. So we've got them in all kinds of colors and makes. Uh, we've got a big burn order on its way down here pretty soon. Um, so hopefully that'll arrive next week. We thought they'd be here now by now, but they're not yet. Just have to be patient, I guess. Some of them are coming from the East Coast. Um, we have received a ton of Linus bikes. So we've got Dutchies, Mixties, some Roadsters, and Roadster Sports. Um, and those are all lined up here in the shop. We've got a bunch more in our warehouse. Um, so those are three Linus bikes. We've also received a lot of bobbins um, in sky blue, red, yellow, and kind of a darker aquamarine uh, blue. And those are in three and five speeds as well. And we've got a few other special bikes from Bobbin. And these are the Vintage and the Vintage Deluxe, as well as the Day Tripper. And the Day Tripper is kind of their Roadster men's version of their bikes. Same price as all the step-through frames, just a slight... They're usually a little bit taller on the, you know, like the same price, but a little bit taller sizes uh, than the step-through frames. And uh, there's the Vintage and the Vintage Deluxe. The Vintage Deluxe comes equipped with a five-speed hub, dynamo headlamp, uh, Brooks leather saddle. And they're pretty fancy bikes. They're a little bit less than $1,000. You can see some of those basil bags. Uh, we've been selling a lot of those. We've also got these cool walled baskets for the front of your bike. And uh, there's a big metal steel black rack from Staco that uh, can hold about 70 pounds of cargo. Some basil memories baskets up top. And then we've got uh, a basil, like a clip-on wicker basket. And we've moved a lot of those. They've been really popular. They're very handy. Um, the bobbin shopper still on display up here. Finally got this thing recabled a, a week or two ago. So you can take it for a test ride. These are 550. And a ton of Brooks stuff in stock. So here's one of our displays with some flyers. And we've got handlebar tape grips. And this is something kind of fun that arrived recently. See if I can find them. Oh, these things. Um, these, little, these little leather dealios. And what these are, are, pant, are, they're a pant leg strap. And they match the finish on Brooks saddle. So here's a Honey um, Flyer S. And then there's like the Honey strap. And the finish is just pretty much spot on. So, sorry, the light reflecting makes it a little harder. It looks a little bit better outside. Um, anyway, so we've got them in black, honey, and antique brown. And uh, we've just got some of the best bike locks that a bike shop can have from a company called Abus, which is the very best from Germany. Um, these locks range in price from the least ones we carry, 30 bucks for the Bufo, which is like really kind of a, um, well, I don't know, I'd call it kind of a medium quality lock, all the way up to $150 for some of the super duper really tough bike locks, some really innovative things. This is a folding uh, metal link lock. And uh, yeah, they're just really great. We've sold a ton of them and they work very well. They're very strong with uh, you know, preventing your bike from getting stolen. So some of our grip selection there lined up. And some, of the, some cool new bells we got from Nutcase. We've also got a bunch of bells on the wall over there and down in a little wooden basket. There should be a couple of Pashley bikes arriving next week. At the moment, we've got a Roadster Sovereign and a Princess Sovereign. Um, I'm working uh, with Gazelle to get some of their bikes here very soon before the summer's out. Just to give you a glimpse of what it looks like back here, it's just chaos unleashed. We've got wheels everywhere, Canadians upside down, cats and dogs living together, tons of repair bikes in the back. It's just been pandemonium. So uh, sorry if we haven't been able to return your phone call as quickly as we'd like or repair your bike, but things are pretty hectic. So thanks for watching, everyone. Here's some of the bikes in our repair bay. Uh, there's more off to the left. Okay, take care.